Continuing our coverage in just the past couple hours, Hurricane Helene increased from a Category 2 storm to a Category 3. The storm continues intensifying as we take a live look in Naples, Florida. People there getting a close look at the waves from the pier. Forecasters are expecting Helene to make landfall around 7 tonight in the sparsely populated Big Bend area. Now, one of the most important tools in determining a storm strength and movements are those amazing hurricane hunters that fly right into the eye of the storm. So how do they do that and what's happening while inside the hurricane? As Frank Wiley from our sister station in Tampa explains, it's all about the science. Hurricane hunters provide a lot of information about a storm, but how are they even getting inside? They're flying a plane called a WC-130J, like this one. It's a modified version of the C-130 plane that you might see dropping that red stuff on a fire out west. These planes are tough. They can fly for longer periods of time, and they can really take a beating. These airborne science missions are run by the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, which has been flying into storms since 1944. In the cargo section of the plane, there are two different pallets of computer systems that take all of the data from the sensors on the plane's exterior to help determine what's going on inside the storm. The hunters also drop these parachute-type sensors called SONs, which float through the storm relaying information about a storm's pressure, wind speed, and direction. That information all comes together, gets processed, and then is shared through the National Hurricane Center for us to share with all of you. The hurricane hunters aren't the only ones flying in, a, in and around a storm. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration also has a couple planes flying into and around storms, dropping measurement instruments right into the hurricane.